Whether you're thinking of buying new carpeting, painting a room, or installing an outlet, you'll need to measure. These are the customary tools that we can use to measure, but now we're gonna look at something slightly different. Dremel, the makers of rotary tools and multitask tools, have a new home solutions. It's the three-in-one laser measurer. And thanks to the Home Depot Seeds program, we're gonna see how it measures up. Inside the box, you'll find the quick guide, a detailed manual, warranty card, postage not provided, two AA batteries, two snap-on adapters. This one has a wheel that you use for measuring around irregular surfaces, curves, that kind of stuff. And then this adapter has a measuring tape. Now the actual unit itself looks like an old-fashioned doctor's pager. Very simplistic in its look, one button operation. Laser emits from this side, received on that end. Nothing on the back, nothing on the sides. Battery goes in the back. Very just clean looking little product. We'll see what it looks like once we get the batteries in it and uh, power up the display. Inserting the battery is as easy as lifting off the cover, inserting, and closing the covers, no little silly screws to deal with. Once the unit has batteries and you turn it on, it initiates and goes into a measuring mode. So as you can see there, there's the laser being bounced back and we already have a reading. And if I move this further back, there's another reading. So we're seven inches away and the measurement is taken from the back of the unit. So this is your base. Actual unit measures about four and a quarter inches long. So let's see, if we put this at about nine inches, let's see what we get when we aim it at that. Nine inches. A word of caution, this is a laser, do not Aim this at anyone's eyes, whether human or animal, because you can do damage. Be careful where you aim this thing, especially when you first power up the unit as it initially fires off the beam. Get into the practice of turning off the beam until you locate the unit where you want to do a measurement, and then you can power up the beam. And then again, when you go to move to a different location, turn off the beam, move to that location, then power up the beam. You don't want to inadvertently shine this into anyone's eyes. When on, the display will give you two readings. Bottom reading is the current reading, whereas the top is the last saved reading. So if you had to get a, a length and width, this would be a nice way of just not having to write that information down Want to have a runner that goes from the door all the way to here? Simply put the tool up against the jam, aim the beam where you want to measure from, and there's the calculated length of 8 feet 7 and 11 16 inches. If you need to measure circumference, you simply grab the circumference adapter Line up the contacts to the front, to the front of the unit, snap in place, and now anytime you pull on the tape measure, it gives you a readout. So now we can measure the circumference of this shade. And it gives me 3 feet, 10 inches, and 11 sixteenths. And now I know the circumference of the lampshade. But what if I wanted to measure something that was on a curve? For example, the length of this arm to the front. How would I do that? To get our measurement, we have to use the second adapter. So we squeeze the one that's on here, remove it, grab the adapter that has a wheel on it, and simply attach it to the front. We place the wheel where we want to start measuring from, roll the wheel down, and as you can see, 
the numbers are incrementing. And when I get to my end, there's my measurement, two feet, seven and one sixteenth of an inch. Let's say you're measuring and you get to a point and you overshoot it and you go, geez, that's too long. I actually want it to be here. Well, you're always getting a real time measurement from the wheel. So as long as you don't lift up from the surface, your measurement will be accurate to wherever you position the tool. Now, what if I needed to know the distance between here and here? If I put my tool on it, the beam just shoots across and hits the wall. Now, I could put a card here and I get a reading of one foot, six inches and nine sixteenths. Or I can put on my tape measure, get the same number. Finally, I can try using the wheel and placing the wheel on there, I can write across the surface and get a measurement. Now for this particular chair, it's very slick and polished, so it slips off. So this is probably not the ideal solution, but you do have three choices. This laser measurer can go up to a distance of 65 feet, has an accuracy of plus or minus one eighth of an inch, and can measure in increments of 1 16th of an inch. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the tape measurement face-off. In this corner, we have Stanley. Now, while Stanley only has a range of 25 feet, he does come in with easy to read numbers, he's flexible, and requires no batteries. Our referee is Craftman. He will make sure that there is no cheating among the two competitors. And now, let's go and see what the measurement is. As we travel down the length of the tape, we see that we are at 12 feet, 4 inches, and 3 sixteenths. If we look at our tape, it is 12 feet. You see 1 and 2 sixteenths inches over here, plus we add 3 inches for the length of the unit. So we are only off by 1 sixteenth of an inch. Stanley and the ref both agree on the number, so this Dremel is off by 1 16th of an inch. Pretty impressive, we're just using light. Mr. Stanley doesn't do so well when it comes to odd shaped things. For that, the Dremel makes short work of it, and you instantly have a measurement. Of course, we could have gone low tech and use something like this. In situations like this, where you're trying to measure across a flat surface, the tape measure always wins because using a laser, your beam just wanders off until it hits an object. Of course, we could put an obstacle here, a hand, a card, or we could use the tape adapter and measure out to that point. But why go through all that trouble when this just instantly works? Unlike the measuring tape, which lets you read in feet and inches, or just inches, the Dremel, on the other hand, only allows you to read in feet and inches. So this ends up being one foot and two inches, but it will not show you 14 inches. While the display can be read outdoors, this is really meant as an indoor measuring tool. We can get a reading in here, but there will be times where the brightness will wash out the laser and the unit won't be able to discern it. And unlike a tape measure, it does a lousy job when trying to measure the distance to a mirror. Trying to measure the distance to a piece of glass can be problematic as the beam tends to go through. And in this case, there's a second piece of glass and it's bouncing off of that and picking up that reading. Sometimes you might be able to fool it if you start on something solid and then go to the next reading. I got 10 inches, so I know there's an inch between this, which is 9, and that is 10. Then a little further out, at 1 foot 1 inch, is the storm window frame that's further out. An advantage that the Dremel laser has is that you're not having to deal with tape that pulls back on itself or that flips over 
or you're not sure it's connected right, you know, you lay down your laser and that's the distance to that point and that's it. You don't have to touch it, you don't have to hold it, you just get your measurement and you know it's accurate to one eighth of an inch. As we've seen, the Dremel laser measurer has some advantage over these other measuring devices. But at the same time, it also has some disadvantages. So my recommendation, this is great if you need to measure the width and length of a room really quick, walk in there, shoot the laser across, boom, you have your measurements. It stores two of them, so you can easily get your width and length. And if you press twice on the button, it'll give you square footage. Much quicker than tape, but there are advantages to having tape. My advice, buy a tape measure first. Then if you determine that you have a need for a laser measurer, buy this one. Because of all the other lasers that I've seen, this is one button operation. It has the flexibility of using either a tape or a wheel. My wife loves the wheel because she can use that to measure fabric when she's at the fabric store. And overall, it's reliable, accurate to within one eighth of an inch and measures down to one sixteenth of an inch and of course is lighter than this unit which is limited to 25 feet whereas this goes much further. I find that this Dremel laser measurer actually measures up, no pun intended, to its claims. So if you found this video interesting or useful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, join the subscription team, and as always, thank you ever so much for watching.